you have probably noticed that when you click on a Power BI file on SharePoint or OneDrive, you normally get to a download page. The download page has changed a little, if you have noticed. It says now the ability to preview this file is currently disabled by your Power BI admin. So if your Power BI admin allows you to talk to him, you can actually go, if you're a Power BI admin, you go to the admin settings on PowerBI.com and then search for OneDrive and then enable users can view Power BI items. What happens when you do that is when a user clicks on a Power BI file on SharePoint or OneDrive, instead of asking for download, it will open a better experience. The first time it takes a little while, but you know, the second time is actually a little bit faster. So here for now, you are able to save as, if obviously whoever published a report allows you to do that, rename or download a copy, which is quite nice. But they're planning for more. So they have in the roadmap that you will be able to auto-save edits. I don't like that feature, but I know there are people that do. So, and it's compatible with how Office works. So you will be able to do that. Obviously, if you have edit rights to the report, you will be able to edit it directly in the browser. We talk about this on this video. It's coming. The experience of editing is coming to the browser, which is a great thing. And you will be able to refresh the report in the browser. So they want you to be able to do whatever you do for other Office products in Power BI. There's one more thing though. If you go to Power BI desktop, and you go to preview settings, so file options and preview features, you will see here, save to OneDrive and SharePoint. If you enable that, you will be able to share your report directly to OneDrive or SharePoint. After you have enabled that, you can see here on the open, it says recent on OneDrive. If I click on OneDrive, it's actually taking me to SharePoint, maybe because I'm not using OneDrive, I'm not using SharePoint that much either. So here you will be able to see the SharePoint sites that you have access to in your own tenant. If you're a consultant like I am, then just your tenants, your, com your customers' tenants, you will be able to see it here. Um, but yeah, that's all. So as you can see, everything is moving fast speed towards editing on the web. And I, I really like it. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a better experience. So you can work on any computer, you can do collaboration better, you can, hopefully they will start introducing like uh, version history and all that kind of stuff that you, you need to have it on the cloud somewhere to be able to do. So wonderful, wonderful news. So let me know what you think and I will see you again in the next video.